well, we don't have to say it, but we are so fortunate to be here in Music City where there are so many talented musicians that make our community so special. And that talent, I swear, maybe it's because I'm getting older, but they all seem like they're getting younger. <laughs> well, that's why News 2 is partnering with the iconic Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum to showcase high school musicians. Sylvia Castaneda explains how all of this will work, plus how to nominate a young talent. What would our life be without music and the talented musicians that create the soundtrack of our life? That's why the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum in downtown Nashville is so special. It's a place where every exhibit, piece of music, and memorabilia ties back to celebrate some amazing talent or iconic moment in music history. And we're growing a young musical talent right here in Middle Tennessee. I am so honored to be with Linda Chambers, who is the CEO of the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum. We are launching Musician of the Month to showcase high school talent. I'm so excited about this. I know you are too. Yes. Why partner with us to, to bring this to Middle Tennessee? Thank you, Sylvia. You know, the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum honors musicians from all genres of music, which makes us very unique. We have hundreds of exhibits that are the instruments that were played on music that everyone's heard of, but they may not know the musician that played it. We can showcase those musicians through their instruments. And now we're really excited to be able to partner with Channel 2 and spotlight some of our young musicians here in Nashville. And this contest is going to be so easy to enter for juniors and seniors in high school. All they have to do is go to our contest page at WKRN.com and find it right there and then upload their video, right? Playing whatever instrument they want to play. Yes, and please tell us who inspired you. All of the musicians that we have represented in the museum, their history was inspired by someone else and so we want to see what our young people are being who they're being inspired by that's exciting then I get to spotlight the uh, young talent and then they get to come which I think is so cool you'll present them with a trophy they get to tour this beautiful facility which is again what you said it represents all genres of music why is that so important you know, our studio musicians are such unique people because they're an encyclopedia full of music. They might be playing on a record for a gospel song in the morning, country in the afternoon, and rock and roll at night. They're just so talented. And there's a way that you can experience what it's like to be a musician or behind the scenes in music. We're gonna head there right now. There's so much history inside this museum that you can experience and get yourself immersed in. And that's why I'm now with Britt Chambers Hawker. She is the Director of Museum and Artist Relations. Talk to me about the history that you have in these walls. Some of this is right here from Nashville that people would not believe. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so history is so important, um, not only for knowledge, but also inspiration. The way that the museum is set up mostly is through cities. So you start out in Nashville, you go to Philly, LA, Memphis, Muscle Shoals, Atlanta, and then the British invasion. Right now we're in the Hendrix room. A good example of sharing history with people, you start out in Nashville, you see Pete Drake, most people may not know who Pete Drake is, but then you realize that two Beatles reached out to him, both George and Ringo, to have him play on their records. So you hear these records and you don't realize the musicians playing behind the scenes. So in our Hendrix room here, we've got the stage. Our CEO and curator, Joe Chambers, he was not only knowledgeable about Nashville, but also just music and music history and, and preservation. And so he had noticed this stage from a photo and said, I think I know where that's at. It's in Printer's Alley at a place called Jolly Rogers and providentially went there right before it was demolished and saved the stage that Hendrix actually played on. I also love that you can experience what it's like to be behind the scenes. You've got some great interactive exhibits, hands on. Yes, so you can go into our Grammy gallery after you're inspired by the museum and get to test it out a little bit yourself so you can learn to produce, you can play guitar, you can sing, you can even get drum lessons from Ringo. Sylvia, where'd you go? Hey Sylvia, there you are. Hey! I decided to get a little lesson from Ringo. Do you think this will get me ready for the Musician of the Month contest? Maybe I can pass as a senior in high school? <laughs> I guess I'm going to send it back to the studio. I need more practice. Come on, Ringo, help me. She looks just like a high school senior. <laughs> 
so funny. Well, to submit a nomination, visit the contest page at WKRN.com. Then click local on two for that contest link. I remember it has to be a junior or senior in high school. They need to upload a short video playing an instrument and tell us why they want to be the musician of the month. Students in all schools are eligible, including students who are homeschooled.